Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video for the CMA Inter for the upcoming June 2024 examination for the ABC analysis of paper number 8, Cost Accounting in your group 1. I hope you have enjoyed the videos on your preparation strategy uh, for preparing a law as well as for financial accounting as well as the direct taxation and indirect taxation part. This is your fourth and the final video for the group 1 students, those who are preparing for the upcoming attempt for the cost accounting paper. So if you see the cost accounting paper for the CMA, it is a key paper. Many of the students are feeling difficulty in that paper or some of the students are scoring very good marks in that paper. It depends from person to person, whatever the person, whatever, what kind of person you may be. But this paper is an exemption paper in simple. Don't uh, think it in different way you are saying every paper is difficult every paper is an exemption paper yeah there will be every paper will be an exemption paper if you follow a proper strategy with a proper guidance with a proper meta you can easily clear it so let's come to a discussion part of that we are having three parts one is section a section b as well as section c section a is divided into four modules of 40 percent section b is divided into one modules of 30 percent Section C is divided into one modules of same 30%. Okay. The model number two is based on methods of accounting. Model number one is the basics. What is the cost of accounting? Everything will be there. And what is the cost? How it is calculated? Everything will be there. And section C will be your cost accounting techniques. So when you're getting into that part, they have given a weightage somewhere around 40, 40 percentage they give. So as usual, as you already have a word with you. The paper is going to be 30 plus marks. 98 marks will be a descriptive choice. Total 128 marks will be there. You need to attend 30 compulsory MCQs and then 70 marks you need to write. Total 100 marks you are going to write. Whatever the percentage calculation I have done, everything is based on that allotted papers, total paper weightage. Okay. And what are the resources here I'm going to use? ICMA study mat I'm going to use. First priority ICMA study mat then postal test paper, then RTP, revision test paper and model question paper of last two years, not two syllabus, it is two years. Past papers of three syllabus, syllabus 2022, syllabus 2016, syllabus 2012. This will be helpful and it will be easy for those who are repeaters. Okay, they have already seen the module. Now they need to practice more, then therefore, Go for and pass paper. Those who are appearing for the first time, it may be difficult for you to focus on three past papers, roughly around 18 papers to 20 papers will be there. So what you need to do is first to focus on syllabus 22 and then focus on syllabus 26. If you got the time, go for syllabus 12. But syllabus 12 is also important because they are having a very beautiful questions in that syllabus, almost all the six to eight attempts. Okay. When it comes to a percentage calculation, they said, oh, more section A, I'm going to ask you 50 percentage part. From section B and C put together, I'm going to ask another 60 percentage. Okay, it is almost around 60-40 criteria or 50-50 criteria. Okay, that is in simple, it is 60-40 ratio. Section B and C is going to coming for 60 percent and section C is going to, section A is going to coming for 40 percent. Out of it, they are having list down the chapters like inter uh, that is the intro to cost accounting. Ma elements of cost, you have four subtopics, material, labor, overheads, and direct expenses. Cost, cost accounting standard from 1 to 24 is there. Cost bookkeeping is there. If I quickly run through uh, methods of costing, job, batch, process, and joint product, uh, contract costing, and service costing is also known as operating costing. Process costing is also known as operation costing. Okay. Then if you come to cost accounting techniques, cost accounting techniques is based on marginal cost, standard costing, BBC. I will call it as BBC. BBC means budget and budgetary control. Okay. Let's we have discussed everything. What is the percentage? Everything we have discussed. No. How I need to approach this, sir? I have very much struggle in that cost accounting. I don't know how I need to do it, sir. So you have a very simple deal path. First priority in our ABC analysis without studying everything. First study, intro to CMA. What is casting? Why casting is there? What are the types of cost? Opportunity cost, sun cost. What is the study that? Then 
study what is reduction what is cost reduction what is cost control why it is happened why in what situation we will apply study everything let's come to an idea why we are studying a cost accounting in if you go for an interview or if you go for any article shape they will ask a basic question why you are studying cost accounting or what is a job for cost accounting why i need to appoint you as a cost accountant what you give it to me or what is the benefit you derive from me that's what the basic question for that answers you will find it in this chapter only so focus on this chapter line by line inch by inch learn everything on that intro to ca part this is from your career perspective for exam perspective for your conceptual learning you need it needs to be there then other chapters will become cake walk for you if you have a very good base understanding of that if the foundation is strong inter will be easy that is your building will be strong okay now come to an order for your exam point of view first the first will go to marginal costing first will go to what marginal costing once marginal costing is done focus on standard costing standard costing is over focus on bbc bbc is over 30 percentage is done and dusted for those who are writing group 2 you are having an advantage if you study the basics here the same is going to be there along with some additions will be there so it will be easier for you to do it okay then come to contract costing service costing and material costing this will be another criteria you may expect on this three you may expect around 21 marks to 24 marks will be there for you to prepare okay plus mcq so somewhere around 8 marks they are going to test some way in total 32 to 34 marks will be there from this three points then if you see contract costing service costing and material costing in put together you may get 21 to 24 marks okay along with that 6 marks to 8 marks of mcq will be there in total it's somewhere around 32 to 34 marks if you do this almost 60 to 68 marks of your scoring will be done if you focus on this chapters okay you can you may expect a single 14 mark question from in any chapters which i list down in in any chapters which i list down here marginal cost you may expect 14 mark question for material costing you may expect a 14 mark one full fledged question so learn inch by inch go for a depth for a conceptual learning if you study a conceptual learning without any hesitation without any fear you can go and happily attend your exams and come out with a happy faces if you study a bookworm if you only do the book problems if you don't study this is a format i am going to do shsr ahsr why shsr why ahar why i need to do that why i need to do i why i should not do that method why i need to do that method study in such a way it will never ever forgot in your life still now i am never learned i want to sit the sum i want to do 100 problems in one chapter never i do i study i will spend 100 i will even spend 20 hours for conceptual learning i will only practice for 10 hours or 5 hours that 20 hours of conceptual learning along with examples own examples life oriented practical oriented will stay back with me the sums which i am doing currently i can do it for my exam preparation but to scoring or to clear my exams but what if in future the same questions will be remembered by me to solve the problem no right if you study the concepts why it is happened that's completely fine now come to your b category here i put process costing joint product and by product labor costing overheads that is your absorption costing and cost many of the students are not studying this cost accounting standards but it is equally important to study this cost accounting standards okay this cost accounting standard should be there you may expect 14 marks from this chapter alone okay so 7 7 plus 7 marks question they may test you this is completely theory based so you need to focus okay so you need to focus if you done this your next 30 plus marks is guaranteed okay then come to sc part that is cost bookkeeping job costing batch costing and direct expenses is there that is a small topic sir 
you have never included a, a cost sheet here sir what i can do for my class for my understanding intro to ias is inclusive of cost sheet is inclusive of cost sheet okay so it is come around in the a category only so if you follow this i will tell you very simply if you focus on this six chapters first you are guaranteed 60 plus marks in that you are having try to score 50 plus or even if you try to score 40 plus do take b category 30 plus do 15 plus okay 15 take c category don't leave c category study that c category with less preference okay study that c category with less less preference if you want to leave some chapters i will tell you what chapters to leave i will never tell you that but some of the students are feeling difficulty so that i am telling so we are going to somewhere around complete the 85 percentage criteria no so what we can do you can avoid this direct expenses part okay you can avoid this direct expenses part and if you have good knowledge about uh, the marginal cost standard cost and budget and budgetary control you may skip cost bookkeeping that is integrated cost accounting system okay you may avoid that chapter okay and if you feel this two chapters will be there if you want you can omit it but just learn the basics and go okay then come to your c category part your c category part is roughly going to test you around for another 20 plus marks let's say on that just put 10 marks if you add everything it will somewhere around comes to 65 marks now tell me is scoring an exemption is there scoring an exemption is difficult or easy or it is achievable rather than easy it will be achievable with a proper strategy with a proper planning without a planning you cannot do anything just today i am studying this tomorrow i am studying that what i can do at the end of the day if you know how if you want to have a track record if you want to have a tracking then only you can easily achieve okay without the tracking without doing a monitoring you cannot do it okay it will difficult rather than i saying you cannot do it it will takes time to do it that's it okay so that i hope this 10 or 15 minutes whatever the case will be that your valuable time will you are given so i hope you learned how you need to prepare how you need to have a view on preparing each and every chapters so make sure you are doing a past papers past papers are like a diamond for you okay you are having with you in front of you you just need to grab it that's it if you have grab it june attempt is yours june is going to be yours i always tell to my students trust the process follow the process don't believe in yourself don't focus on the results part i need to prepare conceptually i am going to write it whatever the paper it may be i will write it i will clear it now i will be qualified as my cma fine semi qualified cost account so that's it for the day have a nice day dears and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel